Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and in this video I'm going to be talking once again about cleaning on the Sage Bambino Plus but specifically in this video I'm going to be talking about back flushing again because I messed up the back flushing part of the last video which I'll explain now. So in the last video, and I have said this in the description of that video, I messed up the back flushing part of that video. I couldn't see the front of the machine, I couldn't see the lights around the shock buttons. So I thought I'd taken it into the back flushing mode because I thought the lights were flashing. I assumed these lights were flashing, but I couldn't actually see it because of the studio lighting here in the studio, it reflects off the front of the machine and I couldn't actually see the lights. I assumed that I'd taken it into the cleaning cycle. But what I was actually doing when I watched it back, and unfortunately this was after I'd edited it and uploaded it to YouTube, I noticed when I played it back that what I was actually doing when I thought I'd taken it into the cleaning cycle, into the back flush cycle, was simply reprogramming the single shot button for the max, which I think is a minute or something. And what other people have said, other people have made comments, is correct, I believe, that you can't actually take the Sage Bambino Plus into the back flush mode without it wanting you to. So when it wants you to, it'll, it'll flash the shot buttons intermittently to tell you to do the back flush cycle, which is fine. But if you want to do a back flush cycle, if you feel like you want to do it, you want to do a clean, it's not prompted you to yet, you can't actually, unless I'm wrong, unless there is some way to do it, I can't find a way to actually get into that auto back flushing mode. So in this video, I'm just going to show you really, really simply how to do back flushing manually. So if you want to back flush it and you can't get it into that mode, which I don't think you can, I'll just show you how to do it manually. You don't need to do it auto. It will still, if you do it manually like this, it will still prompt you when it when you've done 200 shots or whatever it actually is, it will prompt you to do it and you can just do it again or you can do it with no cleaning tablet or cleaning powder in if you like or you can just do it again with the cleaning tablet. But I'm going to show you in this video how to really simply back flush without going into the auto cycle. So as with the last video, we've got the single basket and I mean the single shot basket as opposed to the double shot basket. And I'm using the dual wall basket I don't think it matters at all whether you use the dual wall or the standard basket if you've got it as long as you're using the single basket because the blind disc that comes with it is the same shape as a single basket so you want to use a single basket and they say either dual wall or standard doesn't matter put your cleaning stuff or your cleaning tablet inside and lock it into the group head like that and then basically all we're going to do is pull a load of single shots with the blind disc or the blanking disc, the cleaning disc in and with your cleaning powder or your cleaning tablet. We're just gonna run shots through, single shots, until the liquid that is coming into the drip tray, and it doesn't come through the porter filter, it comes through the system, through the solenoid valve and into the drip tray until that starts to look like it's running clear. And we'll probably do, I don't know, five or six shots. So let's do that. So if you hear that noise, basically the water being pushed through by the solenoid into the drip tray. So you'll hear it pull the shot and then you'll hear that noise and you'll see sort of soapy solution coming into the drip tray. And I'd do that a few times, maybe four or five times. Empty a drip tray, then do it again. And if it's coming through clear into a drip tray at that point, then you're done. But as I say, I'd probably do about four or five shots. Do it again. So I've pulled four shots through now, I'm going to empty the drip tray, put it back in, do a fifth shot with the blanking disc in and see if that water is coming through clear. If it's not, I'll do it again. If it is, that's it, it's done. I'll just give the porter filter a rinse, pull a few more shots through with nothing in, without the blanking disc in, and then ready to start making espresso again. 
So I've emptied the drip tray, pull another shot and let's see if it's coming through clear. And it's still not 100% clear, there's still a little bit of the cleaning solution coming through, so I'm going to do one more shot. So that ran more or less clear, so I'm happy that was six shots. It's dissolved, everything's come through. Yeah, and that is completely clear in there now, it's just clear water. So all I do now is take the blanking disc out, keep that safe for when you next want to do a back flush and take out the single basket because I never use single baskets and put in the double standard basket as opposed to the double dual wall basket. If you haven't got a standard basket, if you watch my other videos, I've done other videos on comparing the dual wall and the standard baskets. And I believe the dual wall baskets are either back in stock with Sage and Breville or very close to being back in stock. So you will be able to get hold of the standard baskets. So anyway, that's how to do a manual back flush. And all you're doing is blanking off the basket, pulling a few shots, six shots added there, with the blind disking with the cleaning solution or cleaning powder or cleaning tablet and you're cleaning everything and it's exactly the same more or less exactly the same that would happen with the auto back flush cycle when it prompts you to do it so if it prompts you to do it again after you've done it manually you can do it again either with or without the cleaning tablet just to satisfy it that it's been done and that's that really straightforward really simple and for the descaling and for cleaning the steam wand tip and the steam wand and cleaning the water filter in the baskets, watch the previous video. In fact, I'll put a link here to that video in case you wanna go back and watch that. That's all for now. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, cheers. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click this image here and subscribe to my channel. That's all for now, tatty bye. I'll take the, oh shit. Yeah, it'll uh, knock the lid off and drop the lid into the tank.